Vikas Gautami. I am teaching the physics of 10th standard. Today we will see the topic of reflection of light. Let's get started into the topic. reflection of light and in this we will see what are the types of mirrors we do. So first we have generally plane mirrors and next is spherical mirrors. So already you have learnt in your lower classes about the plane mirrors. So what are the two laws which are present with the plane mirrors? So first is angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection and second law is the incident ray, the normal and the reflected all will lie in the same plane. That is same plane is nothing but the plane of reflection. Suppose if this we take it as a mirror. So the incident ray, the normal as well as the reflected ray. These three will lie in the same plane. Is it clear? So this is total a one plane. So here the reflection is present. So these all lie in the same plane. And next law is angle of incidence and angle of reflection. These both will be equal. This is about the plane mirrors. So is this law applicable for spectral mirrors also? Yes, it is applicable. That what? Which law is applicable? The first law. That is angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection will be applicable for spherical mirrors. So first we will see about types of mirrors. So in types of mirrors we have two types. One is plane mirrors and another is spherical mirrors. So what do you mean by spherical mirror? So spherical mirrors are nothing but the curved surfaces. So suppose example, if this is taken as a sphere, if this is taken as a sphere, a part of the sphere, if you cut it, is it clear? So this becomes a curved surface. So this is nothing but we can consider this as a curved surface. This is nothing but called as a curved mirror. So this curved mirror is nothing but called as spherical mirror. Why because? Because if you assume this curved surface and imagine and draw a sphere, then it becomes a sphere that is in the form of a circle. So that's why these are called as spherical mirrors. In spherical mirrors, we have two types of mirrors. The mirrors, we have again two types of mirrors. One is concave mirror and another is convex mirrors. So what do you mean by concave and convex? So if you consider this as a sphere, is it clear? It is a curved surface. So always the bulge outwards, is it clear? So if you take the part which is bulge outward, is nothing but as called as a curved concave surface, is it clear? So how to differentiate a convex and concave mirrors? So if you paint the part which is bulged outwards. Is it clear? So if you paint the part which is bulged outwards and the surface inside the curved surface will be smooth and it will be reflecting and this is nothing but called as a concave mirror. So what is this mirror is called as? Concave mirror. Next, if if you paint the inner surface of the bulged surface and outer part that is the surface which is bulged outside is smooth so it will be reflecting so then this is called as convex mirror is it clear plane mirror and spherical mirrors you have concave and convex so in concave mirror so what do the images they form so plane mirrors they form the images same as object. Concave and convex mirror depending on the place and depending on the object the images will vary. So in concave mirrors always the image will converge that means image will be formed 
formed by converging of light.